I watched Mission Impossible Fallout. It was good. It was really good. The action was great. Um, who cares about the acting? Um, there were some things I hadn't seen before in the action movie, like when the one guy was going underwater in a vehicle and you could see the water rush toward him in the vehicle. Like, it was crazy. And he was handcuffed. Um, seeing the stunt where Tom Cruise broke his ankle is crazy. And because he starts limping afterward. Like, that's the shot that they use. Like, it's crazy. Um, let me see. I thought, um, Henry Cavill, Cavill, Superman, um, he looked like a man. Like, that sounds weird to say, but like, with the beard and mustache, he looked like a guy. Like, I can't explain it no differently. Um, but it was good. Like, it was through the fight scene in the bathroom in the beginning of the movie. That set the tone. Like, I was hooked immediately after that fight. Um, mostly because they lost, basically. Um, and then uh, Superman got up and he did the shoulder shrug. Dude, that, that shit was crazy. Um, I thought the ending was, like, rushed. Um, like, the, the pacing was great until, like, the last 15, 20 minutes. And it's a two hour, almost two hour and 20 minute movie. And it's like, you got time. <laughs> you got time. Um, but it was good, good story. Um, I was really hoping, like the whole thing is like a double Asian thing. I was really hoping that, uh, fuck, that's gonna fall, that's gonna make so much noise. I was really hoping that um, Ethan Hunt, oh, it's good I read. Ethan Hunt was a double agent. Um, maybe the next one, because I'm sure it's going to be the next one. Um, but it was good. They got um, Fing Graves more involved. Simon Pig was more involved. They also scaled down the team, which is cool, because the last one, I think, that had Hawkeye in it, it felt big. This one felt smaller, like, we got back to the core team, and that was cool. Um, but yeah, Mission Impossible Fallout is worth it.